Hey guys, welcome to Biscuits Told to War. This is Biscuits giving you a little tutorial guide on how to modify Rome Told to War, specifically modifying the preference folder to make your game more custom to the way that you like to play. Um, I'll give you a little example of what I mean. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll quickly load up a little battle for you, just to have a little checkout. Single player and then custom battle. I'll go to a quick battle. So what I'm able to do is make some little tweaks to the game to make the game more responsive to the mouse, basically make it more sensitive, and also changing the actual gameplay layout uh, so it might make it more, I don't know, more enjoyable to you. So I'll give you an example, if you look on my screen here, you can see that my um, units are all at the bottom. I've got a bigger screen so I can see exactly what's going on. And by doing that, it gives you hopefully more control of your units because you can see exactly what they're doing rather than using that kind of ugly interface that the game presets it with. A lot of uh, guys that have been playing Rome Tour Tour tend to use this format more so because you've got that bigger screen and also what you'll tend to do is after a while instead of pressing the attack or the defense buttons which are usually down here people tend to use the, the hotkeys and what I mean by hotkeys is using the mount the keyboard so instead of um, putting a unit into defense mode by clicking on the little shield icon down here people press D and it puts it into defense mode now to make sure that a unit is in defense mode or not you can just put your mouse up here and it will tell you if it's in testudo guard mode fire at will, loose formation. So you've got the same settings which are usually down here in the bottom right hand corner but are now at the top here. So uh, if you're interested in knowing actually how to do that I'll show you how to do it. And another little uh, thing that you can change on your preference folder is actually making your mouse more responsive. So if you look here I'm able to move around the battlefield much quicker than what I'd normally be able to do. And a second thing that you can alter, which I like to alter on my game folder, is when you are playing in your single player game or the multiplayer game, if you kill the enemy general or your general gets killed, it usually cuts off and shows you a little sequence of the general dying. I don't really like to see that because that kind of interferes with my gameplay and there's a way of turning that off. So uh, what I'll do, I'll show you exactly how you do that. What I'll do is quickly exit out of this. And if you're also interested in actually how I've gone from this small little Rome Total War uh, program here to the large screen, there's a little uh, tutorial on my YouTube channel. If you just go onto my page and go down to do, 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 tutorials and guides, it's probably going to go a bit slow because I'm actually uploading a video at the moment. But if you go to, here it is, Roman Total War, how to minimize your game without uh, stopping it. If you click on that little video, it shows you actually how to do that. So what you can do is that you can actually have Roam Total War in the background, do other things, and then when you start a game, it kind of expands the, the page. So that's just a little side note. If you want to learn how to do that, just check out some other guides that are on my channel. But in the meantime, I'll jump back to showing you how to alter your preference folder. So what you need to do is bring up your Rome Total War folder. Now if it's in Steam, if you've got the Steam version, what you need to do is bring up uh, Steam, go to Steam Apps, Common, Steam, uh, Rome Total War Gold, and it will take you to this page. If you've got it on your, your CD, what you need to do is just find out where you've installed your Rome Total Wall and then you'll have this little list of icons and again what you want to do is click on the folder that says preferences and then on preferences you click on this little uh, notepad folder and what this will do this is actually going to bring up all your kind of little tweaks that you can make to Rome Total Wall now some of these tweaks you can actually do on the uh, options folder here but if you go actually onto your preference folder it's going to give you more 
options that you can't actually use, you can't actually alter on the actual main game. So if you go to the preference folder, there's a few things that are really interesting. Um, here you've got this thing called Fog of War. What that means is that when you're playing the single player, the campaign, you'll notice that your map is kind of fogged out. I like to uh, turn this off. So what you do to turn it off, you delete true and you put in false. What that means is that now you, you can see the entire map on your campaign. Also, uh, if we scroll down here, you have a thing called camera move, the camera rotate. Now what I like to do here is change that camera move and rotate to 300. That would mean that your camera will be able to basically move much quicker, give you more flexibility. And then there's some other little interesting things. If you go down to, do, 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 where is it? Here it is, minimal UI. This is that interfer interface on your battles. If you change that to true, you'll get that kind of minimal uh, screen that you could see on that little example that I gave you. If you put it to false, it's what it normally is. So you've got all those buttons around the side. So you might want to have a little play about with that. And then the uh, another little thing, if I can find it, Uh, just takes two moments. <laughs> I'm just literally scanning through these here. It's going to pause it for two seconds just while I have a look. Here we go. Um, it's near the very top. It's called Event cut scenes. Now what this means is that when the general dies it cuts to a little uh, movie and it shows the general being killed. And uh, Now if you're trying to do a lot of micromanagement you might not want to see that. So what you can do is just delete true and type in false. But basically you can have a little play about with the different things that you can do here. Uh, changing your vegetation, changing uh, the mute advisor, um, changing the uh, the flags so if you don't want any flags on the units or sometimes when a unit uh, gains an experience you'll see it slightly glow or you can change that as well so you've got lots of little alterations that you can do that once you've finished all your changes just click on file and then save and then you're good to go but remember when you're making the alterations on your preference folder you want to make sure that Rome Total to War is closed and then when you open it up, the preferences should kick in straight away. So that's a little um, thing just to try out there. So by doing that, you can speed up your, your camera. You can actually change interface and hopefully um, make it a bit more enjoyable. Or also maybe increase your micromanagement on your troops. So uh, let me know what you think to that little um, short tutorial. Again, if you want to check out any of my other little guides, just jump onto my channel. There's loads of things there showing you how to unlock certain factions, how to mod your actual units, and how to install Barbarium Invasion, sorry, uh, but Europa Barbarum uh, mod. But uh, if you want to know how to actually have Rome Total War minimized, so you can jump onto multiplayer, for example. And basically still talk in the, the lobby whilst having this running in the background without crashing Rome. Just follow that little guide. So hopefully that's been something new for you guys. If you like what you've seen, uh, please leave a little comment. Uh, please leave a little thumbs up. Uh, this is Biscuit signing out and wishing you all the best. Bye now.